The Indian Act of 1876 controlled every aspect of the lives of Indians. It determined the area of land they were allowed to live on, which were called reserves. By 1885, the government was frustrated that the Indians were disrupting its plans to encourage settlers to head west. The Red River Rebellion and Northwest Rebellion had slowed down the immigration. Sir John A. Macdonald wanted to control the rebel Indians and make sure Indians from different reserves would not work together against the government. So they created the pass system. This was never an actual law, but the Indian Act gave power to the Indian agents to control all aspects of the lives of Indians. This would allow the government to gain even more control. Indians were forbidden to leave their reserve unless they had a signed pass from a government Indian agent. The pass was filled out by the Indian agent. He determined how long the Indian could be away from their reserve, the purpose for leaving, and if they could carry a gun. Reserves were beginning to resemble prisons. If they could not get permission from the Indian agent to go to the nearest town, the food they wanted to sell would rot. If they could not get permission, they could not attend traditional ceremonies held off reserve land. Trading among tribes had been common and necessary for survival. The pass system controlled their ability to trade. This pass system was also used to stop parents from going to see their children who were put into residential schools. Generations of people grew up not being able to leave their community without government permission. The pass system was in effect for over 50 years, from 1885 until the 1940s. In the 1950s, the government tried to destroy all evidence of the pass system, which were stored in Battleford, Saskatchewan at Indian Affairs. But a few of the documents were saved to prove that the system existed. 